Hello everybody, welcome to my second round match of the CCL uh, Xbox playoffs. Um, I've got Elk Meme doing commentary for me because I'm gonna I'm gonna mute my microphone and concentrate on the match, despite it being a complete mismatch. Um, my team's 1700 and uh, had quite a good record. Tizzle Bizzle, however, qualified with a 0-0-1 record with Kislev <laughs> and won his first match against uh, Daron. Cunting! Cunt of a fucking shithead! <laughs> Thanks, Cunt! Cunt! Fucking Thanks, Cunt! 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 <laughs> Cunt! Fucking beast! Thanks, thanks for that, Gadeh, Nick. Uh, <laughs> Right. There you go. Let oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Right there you go. This is Xbox for you. I nearly cheated. No, I wouldn't cheat because I was a higher TV team. I nearly just did that by mistake. Hopefully, I won't concede yeah. by mistake. Um, right, I will hand you over to old meme and uh, see you on the flip side. Excellent. Good luck, Jim. Thanks. You're welcome. Ah, fuck um. off! Okay, so here we are. It's gone for the chef. Oh, the chef. And the wizard. It could be trouble for Jim here with the chef. And a catcher. Okay. This is it. This is really quick. He knew what he was doing. He's been thinking about this game. You see how quickly he does that? Bang! I'll have the chef. I'll have the wizard. I'll have a catcher. And I'll have a lineman just off off the bat, like he's going to do his weekly shop. He knows what he wants, gets it. He did he did scum the lino. Um, some coaches would call that uh, cheating. Um, I wouldn't necessarily. I'm down TV now. Call the Inarian police. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think only 20k scroll, so I think it's within there. Hmm. It is dirty. It's questionable. It's questionable. Do you have to wonder how much... I assume he's like completely new to Bloodbar. You have to wonder how much time he's put into studying the game, as it were. What a beautiful day here in the danger zone. Uh, teams lined up. Singing the national anthems. We'll just skip right past that though. Uh, Jim's hovering offense. Just thinking about it. Oh, defense maybe, maybe. Mind games. I don't think they do lect. I think they just they just send you a message to your whatever account it is. Oh, he took some rerolls there, didn't he? Jim on defense with just the one, just the one reroll. Actually, yeah, no, I qualified on the PlayStation 4 uh, first season on there. Um, qualified with Chaos. Uh, 16, 6, and 12, the record. Um, and they just sent me a ticket. They didn't send me any message, but I was on their Discord, so. I think Jimmy's going to pay a lot of attention here to avoiding the uh, wrestle player. Because, um, you know, that's what you tend to do, isn't you avoid your opponent's highly skilled players. Uh, Absolute powerhouse team. Set down on the wall of five, standard. Not doing the offset LOS to, to perhaps punish with the perfect D. Um, yeah, absolutely, Jim, Jim, Jim should quit BB if he loses this. Um, not saying anything bad about his opponent. Um, <clears throat> just the opponent's team, it's not great. Derry with Ziggy, SRL, yeah. 
Oh, three minute turns here in the uh, in the playoffs. That may may play a play a factor with the mental game for Jim there. You know, he likes to play fast, play fast and hard. End the turn for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, man! This is no SRL, unfortunately. Uh, the first round was two minute turns because they they mismade it when they, they they messed up when they made the <laughs> competition, but now it's three. And he looks like he's going to use his three minutes. Oh no, just one and a half. Uh, the Kislev do have a wrestle, wrestle base. Yeah, this is a team. He defeated Darren in, in glorious fashion. It was, a, it was a tough match. And uh, it's played really well. Will we see it t uh, turn one five or? And he does the bear block. Gets the power. I think... Oh no, here we go. Just an injury. Just an injury on the guard. Off the bat. Oh. Will we see Apo use the chairs? Using his time to think about it. He just goes for the Apo. Apo fails. That's a... Uh, it's got to put, it, put a dent in spirits as we uh, begin here at the danger zone. Was it the Thunderdome? I can't remember the stadium name. Not a great commentator, I'll be honest. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking pitch. <laughs> Rock hard today. Oh dear. So was my cock. And Kislev, Kislev guys, um, maybe he's got something to prove, you know, maybe he's, uh, he's come out hard, come out strong. I think he's going to reclaim glory for the Xbox. I don't recall if Jim has a bench, I suspect he might have a bench. Uh, but the Apo is gone. We saw from yesterday's, uh, yesterday's game as well, it's not, not great fun for Jim to play about an Apo, so... Kislev, no bribe for Kislev, as far as I'm aware. He's going for the Kaz on the, uh, going for the Kaz to try and get that guy leveled. It's a hard commit on the right flank for Kislev. Just making a bit of a red carpet down the side there, you know, to just run the ball down, nice and standard. Put the put the loner at the back for the uh, for the pickup. Um, <laughs> I suppose when you got five rerolls, you don't really mind, do you? You know. Yeah. No, he makes the pickup. That Mark Zhu. Oh, he's talking. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no. Unlike Jimmy, I'm I'm from the cultured part of the UK, which is uh, down south. Um, we have a bit of a different different voice. And this is also a, not only a fact stream; it's also a professional stream. So for the big games like this one, where I think it's going to be difficult for Jim, um, possibly, maybe. Um, bring in the heavies. Basing the bear here. I mean, we've seen the bear head, it's been naughty so far. It's 
Watch him with cattle class. It's not a very nice thing to say, Mark Jeru. Uh, we're all friendly here. We're nice. Oh, and he, he gets the he gets the hit. Uh, Norimar, faggy troll, trying to get vengeance, and a piling on. A... You've got to exert your will here, haven't you? If you're Jim, nothing. Unfortunately, nothing from that. Continue if you with want the base one, Menstra. Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby. So uh, will we see a, uh, eh? a bear, bear stand-up blitz here. Yeah, no, I think the bear stands up, blitzes the Aji, if any clears F cages up in the middle. I think it's a top bait. I think he actually leaps his players over that line there and just kind of laughs as he does it. The five rewalls on deck. Oh no, he's just standing right, doesn't blitz with the bear. So, defying expectations here is the case left coach. No, Jimmy, Jimmy doesn't like mighty blow on enemy teams. That's reasonable. Oh, he's thinking about the GFI. He's really got to do something here, hasn't he? He's got to... Got to protect the ball. No mad-ass GFI this turn. Does he, um, oh no, because he spent, he spent 20k, uh, well, say spent, he scummed that lineman. Will he, uh, or the catcher even, will he be buying? Will he be able to, if he gets SBP on the loaner, will he be able to afford to buy him to keep him as a rostered player as he goes forward? I always think. It's the same odds here, so do you leap instead of dodge? Leaping's, you know, the fan favourite. He's trying to set up a uh, a 2D here, looks like. Yep, one zero one kids left, hippie. Um, this guy absolutely demolished Darren, one of the better players on the uh, Xbox. Um, so I think uh, Jimmy is, is rare here. The Bears already put in some work. Is he going to do it? Is he going to move the ball? And he does. And the ball's moving. And it's just stopped. He's going to go for the pass. This is ballsy. This is ballsy. This could be a good pass. If it works. Oh. And he fails the loner rerun. This is big, people. This is big. And he fucking wangs it downfield. But, maybe he's thinking. Maybe he's asserting a bit of dominance here. Jimmy's got short, stumpy little legs. Is he going to be able to catch up? Looks like he's going to struggle. Oh, just a power, uh, just a push here. Which is strange, because that player doesn't have mighty blow, so he should be rolling pals. Yeah, he has a chef. He bought the chef, Hippie. He bought a wizard as well. Uh, he bought a lineman and a uh, scum the catcher. Or did he buy the catcher and then scum the lineman? I don't know. Oh, arm break here. Just a stun. Just a stun. But that is the Kislev player's only skilled play. He didn't opt for any star players this match. Um, maybe Cheney would have been good for him. Yeah, the rest of the guy down. Follow. Do we see a piling on? We don't. That's incredible restraint there from Jim. Incredible restraint. Gets a knockdown. He follows. Another stun. Oh, we're going to see Dwarf Man wipe his legs. Really crucial for the GFIs, or will he um, do them one at a time? It's a tricky thing. He's only got one reroll here. One reroll, eight turns. That's a lot of turns to be looking at if only the one reroll. 
Yeah, I think it's, it's the Xbox Shahanian, so his uh, controller might be broken or something. But it seems that you don't always have to pile on, which is strange. There we are. Arain is uh, warming up. He's doing his stretches like coach. Coach! Wait, I need to do my Scottish accent. Aye, hey, coach. Send me Adam. That's more Irish. We won't, we won't do that too much. I'm out of practice. Um, oh, I'd love a co-caster hippie. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Are you watching the... Because I'm 10 seconds behind because a gym stream comes through late on Twitch. Yeah, get some Blood Bowl royalty up in here. That'd be amazing. Any crucifers to GFIs, ladies and gents? He's on the move. Oh, he found the last one. Hello. Yeah, Hello there. I'm watching, I'm watching the stream as well, so I'm right, so. the same. Um, I was surprised he didn't. Jimmy didn't blitz with the long beard next to the guard um, yeah. blitzer, so they could get that person next to the ball before he tried the pickup. Did he actually blitz this turn? I'm not sure if he did blitz actually. No, I don't think he did. I think he's conserving his blitz to see where the ball went, maybe. Maybe he wanted to use the troll and slayer to blitz the bear? I think that's the only place that could be blitzed after that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good point, actually, stand there. Bring it up and... Interesting, and interesting. It's unfortunate to obviously fail the uh, pick up there. And he's burned his singular reroll for the half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, At the Kislev's mercy here, really. Um, <laughs> One reroll for the half is not great. Oh, That's not ideal. Oh, and there's a turnover. Was that a fail? Hang on, that was a succeeded loner, but rerolled into the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Was that with the bear as well? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So. Jim still in with a chance then. Yeah, that that was that was big. Yeah. Does Jim have any sure hands on the pitch? Is the runner sure hands? Yeah, runners are always sure hands. They, oh, okay. they come up. Not a dwarf coach myself. The game yeah, seems that... to be going quite well, Arito. Sorry to hear me. Was that first action big guy? I think that was, yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> when, when, you're so close, when you're so close to scoring, why, why why, be greedy with that first action big guy? I don't well, the, to be fair to the big guy, he did he did smash that guy first time. Oh, was there an injury or a plea? Yeah, understand. no. <laughs> first action was a uh, first action of the first half of the first turn. He uh, smacked someone with the bear, and Apo failed. Niggle into Niggle. Oh, that's not good. Was, he, was it a skilled lineman, or was it just a... Just a guard, just guard, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's probably more important for next game, the guard, than, than this game. So, I'm not, not sure who Jim faces next, if he managed to scrape through here. No, I have no idea what the, what the Xbox teams are like. It's it's insane that a one zero one Kislev qualified to start. No, he, he qualified as zero zero one, and then he obviously won a playoff match. Oh, right. <laughs> he beat the zero, uh, dominant the match. Zero percent win percentage qualified. <laughs> yeah, it's strange. We were looking at this just before the thing began. Like zero zero four is better than zero zero one. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> So he could have improved his record by losing another game. I think that's quite yeah. hard to say for <laughs> a qualifying team. Yeah, it's, it's not great, is it? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Jimmy's got the ball now. That's pretty He's nice. sort of got the ball. It's not, not very well protected. Um, that is simply I mean, not true. Uh, unless you've got a ton of guard around it, assertion. there's not much you can do to protect it from Kislev anyway. That's very true. <laughs> oh, yes, that's actually a really good point from Satterfield. Was Jimmy going for long term team development in the Apo? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, it would be nice, but I think it probably just more. He, he, he needs as, as much guard as possible for. Well, I mean, this game, because this Kislev team is so underdeveloped, he doesn't really need it, but it would definitely be nice for whoever he's going up against next. Yeah, no, uh, uh, you would imagine at one point or another in this bracket. Assuming he gets through, he will face someone that's got a, a good team. 
You'd think so, but maybe yeah. not. <laughs> maybe not. Yeah, just the just the hit here. No armor break. In the AVA. It's not the dwarfs lack guard T swizzle. It's just that they need it. They need as much of it as possible. It's the whole gimmick, isn't it? Being sturdy little fuckers. Yeah, I mean, the guard spam makes up for the fact that you can't move very fast. Because you like if you if you have all this guard, then it's fine to just clump up in a big ball and plow your way through. Yep, it's um doesn't really involve a great deal of strategy. <laughs> well, the thing is, people think that, but actually, there's Did a huge get... amount of positioning you need in dwarves. Otherwise, like the faster teams will just fuck off and. <laughs> yeah, you can, get, you can get really punished. Really, really incredibly punished. Yeah. Here we go. Different camera angles here. Obviously, we're not in control of the camera here. Um, we're having a look. Just briefly. Just. I'm assuming Jimmy has us muted and he's not listening to us. Um, I'm not too sure. We're 10 seconds behind him anyway, aren't we? So. Mm. And also, there's, there's, there are no rules on advice giving in, in this league. I know, but I'm, I'm not saying... <laughs> listening for advice. I'm just saying, listen, to, listening to see what we're talking about. <laughs> he, he probably is listening. Um, now there's a bit of a meme where he probably wouldn't leave me. Uh. <laughs> just making sure you're, you're not telling all his viewers to piss off or something. <laughs> yeah, do that. Like Jimmy's viewers. <laughs> this is it. We're going to see the sack. So yeah, sack. just a three and a two. How many passes? Oh, oh! Tricky camera angle there. Tilt from Jim, maybe. He gets <laughs> gets the knockdown. <laughs> Why does he keep changing camera angle? Is it just he's up and saying his, his, you know, the equivalent of punching your keyboard is just wailing on his controller, just getting him in. It's like, oh my god. I mean, that that as scatters go, that was probably one of the best ones. The only the only better yeah. thing I could think of is if it was between the guard blitzer and the long beard. Yeah, no, that would have been handy as well, wouldn't it? I think I think he's gonna do it. He's gonna dodge. Oh no! Will we spend the reroll? <laughs> he spends the reroll. Passes the loner reroll. Does he do it? How many how many loner rerolls has he made <laughs> so far? <laughs> I think two. He started with five because he stole some rerolls from Jim. Let's use two of them. He's certainly burning through the rerolls, but then we kind of expect that with Kisnerf. Yeah, absolutely. Um, hmm. It looks fairly simple to clear the ball here, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure how you're going to blitz the the loner on a two dice. But you could definitely one dice it. Hmm. Yeah, you read. Yeah, that's a good point, I'll try. Uh, but yeah, then you the guard, the guard might play piling on, isn't that assist? He's free, isn't he? Just above the... Yeah, but um, yeah. also like you can't you can't dodge away with the runner because that's diamond tackle on him. So you might want to blitz with the runner to get him away from diving tackle and just next to the ball. Has he solved it? He might have solved it. There's an injury. Oh, that's nice. Does it, how many? How many? Uh, he has two on the bench. It looks like. Yeah, he Kislev. bought a. I think he had eleven, and then he bought. A, no, he had ten. Got a loner. Bought a catcher. Bought a lineman. Okay. Yeah. Does he? Did he have any line, um, catches? Normally, or has he just got blitzers and linemen in the bear? Not sure. I think he might have one. Yeah, so he's blitzing with the runner just so that the runner's not on that diving tackle and he can be near the ball. He might try... No, actually, no. Scattering it. Scattering, it. scattering it's probably too risky, isn't it? Yeah, I'd Beautiful. say so. It's a nice little position here. Obviously, the Kislev can just jump onto it, leap onto the ball. <laughs> run away, but we'll see. Oh, that's... God, I wonder if he's going to bring that um, strength four guy in, into the action. Well, I mean, he's not going to leave him on his own, but it's the case of does he want it to be helping with the bear or helping with the ball? 
I think it's a GFI if he wants to do either, really. Yeah. Oh, it's tricky here, isn't it? Does he, does he make the GFI? Oh, you can do two GFIs to mark that catcher, which is... Which is alright. GFI. I and mean, Tizzle's burning through rerolls so quickly, it doesn't, it's not going to matter that half his team is loner soon, because you just won't have any rerolls. It hasn't mattered, it's not got loner anyway, he's rerolled them all, I think. Oh, there we go, another injury. Tizzle's probably going to be feeling this. Alright, so that's... He's not happening because... Probably saving the Apo for Blitzes and the Captain, No, he's saving the Apo for the Wrestle. He is the linchpin of the team. Obviously, he wants <laughs> to get up to the next level for his next game. <laughs> the one guy with a skill. Yeah. I mean, who else are you going to have? You're not going to have a journeyman, are you? No. Uh, hang on, can you even... Can you even Apo induced... Like the induced catcher? I... Imagine you probably could, but you can't apo star players. I'm not sure. Yeah, because at star players, it's because they have their own special apo, isn't it? So I, yeah. I'm assuming you can't, you can apo that catcher or something. Not that you probably want to. Mm. Just, uh, mm. just a moment now, Tizzle, absolutely shafted by the dice, and there's another injury. Yeah. That's I wouldn't count him out just yet, though. He did beat Darren. Second one in eighty-one. Uh, so, uh, Jimmy's gotta be happy that. I mean, you expect to see a couple of one and nines because he's only got one player who won't be, who won't be rolling one and nines on blocks. But yeah, he has been okay with them so far. Just the push off the blitz there. That's uh, always semi frustrating when that happens. Yeah, but I think. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy. Easily, as long as the pickup goes well this turn, he easily has enough time to run it down up to the other end. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's got three turns after this one. Okay, another removal. Yeah. I don't want to take anything away from Jimmy's uh, coaching skill here, but it looks like Kislev is getting diced. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it... Yes. He's been pretty unlucky on his blocks. Um, I mean, but I think that like the the first action there, one and eighty one, was <laughs> probably probably his own fault. To be honest, he shouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that first action. But, yeah. I've got to wonder at what point, what turn does Jimmy consider sending uh, the guy a message on the Xbox app and saying, "Hey, do you want to check out my YouTube?" There's some coaching advice. <laughs> The ultimate BM. <laughs> hey, I know you qualified for, for the playoffs. <laughs> you but... did qualify, yeah. No, that's really. Un... Yeah, no, you can't do that, can you? But you, but you qualified with zero zero one, so it's not as if you, <laughs> you've demonstrated your coaching skills so far. I, mean, I guess they, they won the first round. They did against Darren. Darren's a really good, really good guy as well. Really good what, coach. what team did Darren have? Uh, Amazons, actually, is. How does this team win against Amazons? He must have really diced. <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't dice them. They, they both played pretty badly. What? I thought he's getting rowdy what, here with the piling on. From what I've seen of Duran, he's okay. Like he's he's not terrible. So I don't see any way that Amazons lose to this unless they get <laughs> terrible <laughs> dice or they're just no, like yeah. awful plays. I don't think his head was in the game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> genuinely, like it's. Uh, it's uh, it's a tough game for him. You might think that too tall, Brown, but they've taken away the prize money now. So this is the last kind of uh, the cups. The, this cup that um, Jimmy's in here is, is going to have prize money at the end of it. Um, Kislev yeah, did get a chef, yeah. Yeah, they did. Um... <laughs> yeah. Basically, the only reason to play on Xbox over PC now is because you don't have a P have it on PC. <laughs> Basically, the only reason, yeah. Or well, you've got time to kill, and you don't necessarily want to find a match, but you want the chance of finding a match. <laughs> oh, you here want we the go. The excitement of spinning, but not actually playing a game. <laughs> yeah. 
There we go. He is on the move. Do Kislev? Kislev still have access to Slibly, don't they? Even though they're they're not the Slan equipment. Like they're um, not. I'm not too sure on that. I mean, because they're they're just reskinned Slan. So I'm assuming oh. they do have access to Kis uh, to Slibly. Do we see the Apo? Uh, Got to, it's his only skilled player. There's yeah, no way I mean... he doesn't this. Oh, and he just eats Boy. it. Saving it for the bear. For the bear, of course. I really don't understand. It's the bear. He's got to save the bear. The bear of that Kaz as well, he's, he's probably looking at maybe two or four SPP on him. But the bear is probably... Open oh, oh, that's not good. We're in trouble now. Shit, I stopped playing seriously. I should have said who's first in the arena, shouldn't I? <laughs> fuck, fuck. Yep, punish for not doing safe moves first there. Yeah, oh dear. I mean, he's still going to make a 3 plus, 5 plus to even do anything, so. Yeah, I would, I would have still done that play, but I would have, uh, I should have moved these two dwarves up first, shouldn't I? They're too long beards to make that a 3 dice eventually, and then base this mm. guy and stuff, so. I could have done moves first, but I, you know, wouldn't have mattered too much, I guess. <laughs> oh, I forgot he's got the bolt. Yeah, he could bolt. Um, yeah, bolt. But yeah. I think, realistically, I wouldn't bolt here. Um, oh yeah, he can with the bear. Yeah, he can okay. get uh, the bear on the ball, which is quite nice actually, because it's going to be hard for Jimmy to get enough people to clear it off. This is true. This is true. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't bolt here because there is a reasonable chance of stopping with like basing it with the bear and stuff. Um, and you're going to need the like if you use the bolt here and then just zero zero. And with all the removals, you've got basically no chance of stopping the dwarf drive in the second half, and you've lost. Hmm. So you kind of need the bolt to do something on the dwarf drive. To have a chance of winning this game. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, maybe take them to overtime and hope the chef pays off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chef and overtime is actually actually could mean something, couldn't it? Yeah. It's getting a bit tricky for Jim here, I think. Yeah. Not as clear cut as we thought this game might that? be. Where's that lineman going? He's just gonna stand now, I think, isn't he? Ready to pick the ball up after the bear sack. Uh, the thing is, he's left it so that Jimmy could put two guard in, catch the bear and one dice the bear away and run away. Very well Whereas if it, actually, yeah. Yeah. yeah, if the lineman was in a slightly different place, no, oh, he's not doing it. Um. Oh, he oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna blitz with someone who's not the ball, I guess. No reroll though, that could that could play a factor here. But the thing is, it, oh, where if he blitzes and doesn't get a knockdown, it's fucked, doesn't he? It's fucked. Yeah. Then it doesn't help at all. I, mean, I, I guess this is this is safer because it's. I like this safe moves first bit. He's got to cover up the scoring threat. It's big. Yeah. This is like the ultimate safe, safe move because like, <laughs> you want to make sure he he doesn't care that much about scoring himself. He just wants to make sure the kill that his love don't score. <laughs> yeah. He's okay, going for the Monday. Because if he scores, it's nice, but just a push. Now the question is, do you dodge away now? God, I think it's for the runner, shouldn't I? That was shit. <laughs> <laughs> we, we wouldn't say anything like that, Jim. Um... Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it should have been with the runner. If you, if you're not going to blitz somewhere else, then it should have been with the runner. You could, because you could, you could still have done those safe moves first and locked down the scoring threat. Fifty-fifty here. Will he make it? If he, if he fails it, there is a slight chance For that the fuck's kids left. Sake, Tony. It's, a, it's a tiny Stop chance. Stop being but shit. All right, he's done it. The dirty dingo himself. He's away. Alright, um, so I think to even have a shot at scoring, he needs to dodge blitz with the bear? No. 
Bear Baron heads the Blitz is, uh, the Blitz is raced it. Will we see a wizard? No. Is there any value in the uh, fireball here on the four dwarves? Um. <laughs> Probably not, but... If you get incredibly lucky and castle for them, then sure. But <laughs> but then you're probably still losing because you're still down a huge number of men if your KOs don't come back. That's a pretty good point there. Satfield uh, is the first Baron Head, I believe. And, uh, must be frustrating. <laughs> I, I, I don't think he moved the bear a couple of turns because he just failed before he had an option to move the bear. There's been a couple of times where he just failed his action before he did the bear. Do you mean Dice Lord? Yep. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that's just unfortunate, isn't it? That's. Tizzle's not going to be in a happy place right now. Right. He's not happening that either. Saving either. the Apo for the bear. Saving the Apo for the next game, it seems. Yeah, yeah, that's that as well. <laughs> Jimmy's going like... to get rowdy here. No re rolls. No re rolls. Uh, well, yeah, you can do a three dice palm hit though, so that's yeah. fine. I mean, well, so you do see it fail, don't it? It's like one in two hundred chance, isn't it, of failing? Yeah, yeah. one in two hundred sixteen. Yeah, that yeah, sounds about right. But I mean, oh, he's got away with it. Unpunished. Uh, the Kislev coach must be saying to himself, "Unpunished." <laughs> Couldn't even roll a two plus in his bear blitz. <laughs> Here we are. Well, I mean. That one in 216 times, you probably still win because of the state of the game. So <laughs> I really don't mind doing the blitz. He's getting close here, isn't he? Um, maybe get Kaz and Sky Levels for the next game. Which one? The the Trostler? Or oh, the Rider? Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, or, well, I mean. Well, <laughs> See how the uh, chef goes this time. So, unless he gets a stat up. There's not a huge amount that you want on an, on runners, skill-wise. Jimmy's got some rerolls to play with here. He's been left with two, which is nice. So maybe try and not get the Kaz on there. What I doing? Yeah, he's got kick, he's got block. It's not really a great deal, is there, really, from? I mean, he can still score on him. Um, or we could yeah, try and do... I wouldn't count the Kislev guy out just yet. He could do passes if he if he um, kills enough Kislev people, then like it's pretty safe to do passes. Um, though there's probably they might want to see if there's a long beard that you can level up by handing off to them. So I think is what he's doing now when he's hovering over them. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he's just thinking about his setup. Might be thinking about the game, but I mean he did get punished earlier for not thinking about the game, didn't he? And he managed to claw it back, but. Jimmy's very much it. I'm not going to look at the ladder ahead of me. I will um, play the game, just the game I'm going up against, and just think about that and go from there. Which is a good strategy. Going for the all man's LRS here. Kids left guy obviously <laughs> hasn't set up offset LRS to punish. Yeah, only a five player advantage. Seems seems difficult. Jimmy's going to have to pull it out. <laughs> pull it out of the hat here. He is, yeah. Do some, some magic, magic plays. Yeah, it's not, it's not a guaranteed win here. Um, looks pretty close, but because left, you know, they've got no loners on the pit. Oh, just the one loner. Okay, okay, and the bear, of course, the bear's loner. Uh, so there doesn't look like there's from tr trying to pay attention. I don't think any of the longbeards or anyone else levels up from scoring other than that <laughs> runner. So maybe he will just go, try and go for the runner. Oh, that's a beautiful kick for Jim, isn't it? Nice and short, and the kickoff return makes it. Yeah, kickoff return is nice in those doors. It's beautiful. Much needed movement. Oh, Gypsy. Oh, oh. Grigory Sadovsky. Oh, no, that's unfortunate, isn't it, for the Kislev coach? And Jim catches um. it. This is a dicing, isn't it? Well, he's not getting hit by Mighty Blow. Uh, oh. But... <laughs> <laughs> Did he eat a. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So I, I there, isn't it? Yeah, get, hitting, but getting hit by a rocket is probably worse than getting hit by Mighty Blue, isn't it? Because it's just a straight arm, um, straight cast roll. Actually, yeah, that's very true. There's no armor. Armor check to go for. Do we see some fouling here? Um, you could do. I, I wouldn't just it. yet. Um. 
I mean, you, you probably only want to foul the bear because the bear's the only real threat. Like, you, you pro like realistically, the only thing you really care about is keeping all your players alive for the next game at this point, because yep. the next game is pretty much secured. So yeah, the, it, the, the bear is the main threat to that. And so he might foul it, or he might just try and guard lock it. Uh, also, there's also the wizard to worry about a little bit, so I don't think he can commit to fouling the bear yet, because that's getting too many, too many people in for a potential catastrophic fireball. <laughs> yes, yes, the old, uh, the old tilt fireball. It's interesting to save the Apo for so long, and he's uh, not spunked his wizard off the pitch, uh, over the pitch even. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying Tizzle's bad, but he's no, been making some questionable saying. decisions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. He's going to pass fun. Okay. Oh, right. If Yeah, if he passes enough with the Passage Blitzer, then he should be able to level him. How many passes does he need? He needs four passes? Oh, that's quite a few. Uh, six, isn't it? Uh, no, five, 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 sorry. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, he, no, he needs four to get to twenty-eight, and then he can score with them. So oh I'm... yeah, of course, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, the bonehead fail was that a blitz as well? I don't know. It's hard to tell. But yeah, no, getting blitz. four four passes without a plus edge receiver, um, and only two rerolls is going to be a little bit tricky. Maybe this is part of Tizzle's plan. He's going to wait for that and capitalize upon it with a wizard. I mean, if he puts some pressure on by running some people up, then it, Jimmy's not going to be able to try and do this pass farming anyway. Because he's got to respect right. that dice happen. Oh, he's not going for the jump up block. One die. No, he's uh, showing incredible restraint here as Tizzle. <laughs> going for the leap. Oh, and he fails to leap. That's... Does he uh, fail to be wrong? Oh, he makes it. So he can apply pressure. Yeah, there's a little bit of so pressure. Have a look at the control scheme for Xbox there. Uh, not as intuitive as the, as the keyboard and mouse that we have on the place uh, on the PC. Sorry. Uh, Jimmy just sure refreshing the... himself with the controls. <laughs> I'm not sure if the PC, the default bubble two controls are particularly intuitive on PC. <laughs> I'd really We've got not to use some the interesting bubble. things, haven't we? <laughs> of course, the of course the. Uh... Yeah, I think if you're just going to stand up that with the, you might as well try and do the jump up block. Like, at this point, you need to dice Jimmy to have a chance of winning, and mm. so you might as well try and get a one dice removal. And he makes a little jump again. Like, because this, this is the kind of game where it actually starts to make sense to do an attrition fireball, because you're the only way you're going to win is if you get oh. super lucky. Yeah. And so you need the luck of just rolling dice with a fireball. <laughs> oh. That's an unfortunate turn over there. Yeah. Putting the two tackle zones on the, on the ball would have been handy as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean... He, Jimmy probably could have scrapped it and got a reasonable pickup chance, but it would have been nice. No. His left guy really racking his brains here. What's he gonna do? So he can blitz. He can either blitz him away on a push, or he can push him into a sec another block. And it's interesting to see what Jimmy decides he wants to do. Push him into another block. Just going for the damage. Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess he could try and get Kaz SPP on that blitzer as well to level him up, Connie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's not passing with that blitzer this turn because that would be. Oh, sure. He picks up his short hands and then hands off to him, right? Yeah, so, because, so he, he might, conserves might, his reroll. Might as well do that block. I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know if he'll hand off to him. I think at this point, I'd want to um, just pick up with the blodge guy and keep it on him for a turn, just to make sure there's no shenanigans going on. Another injury. Speaking of shenanigans, that Kaz box is. <laughs> it's not very nice, is it? Getting close to overflowing, I think. Yes, yeah. Uh, two away. 
At least that's something Tizzle can can look back on and say he um he wasn't necessarily bested by the coach, but more by the dice. <laughs> that's always a comfort, isn't it, when you uh, when you're in these high pressure matches. Thanks, J5. I'm assuming I'm the I'm the straight laced one, and I'll <laughs> I'll find the. Uh, Hi, J5. The, it's good the, to have the, you. Fr the freewheeling rogue. <laughs> I'm assuming Jimmy's picking up on the non blodge runner because he doesn't want the blodge runner to get bolted. That's probably what I would do as well. He has given away a tasty fireball here. Would he add another one to it? Um Is it is he baiting the fireball? I wouldn't. I just want to keep the the bear base probably. Yeah. Is, is this fireball bait or <sighs> Well, I mean at this point He's got the fireball here, hasn't he? I fight. It's a it's a nice fireball if you had someone who could potentially score this turn, but he doesn't. Oh, and he's done it. Oh, and a KO. That's big. Because like you, you've got to think about okay, yes, you're mainly fireballing for damage because you need the damage. <laughs> Get off my fucking But also bitch, like <laughs> you got to think a little bit about the recovery chances, and as we saw here just now. The recovery chances are pretty much zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. He's got no recovery here, really. He's gone for the, for the bear blitz. Oh, will it? <laughs> yeah, the bolt animation does look a lot like a fireball. I'm not quite sure. Bang. Cyanide's questionable decision making there. Confusing coaches. Maybe they didn't really make a decision, they just, just did it. Lived in the moment, if you will. <laughs> a strategic bear placement there, maybe. Base in the Dauntless. Drops there. <laughs> Keep busy, you know. Keep what kind of strategy is he attempting with that? <laughs> it's, it's, it's trying. I mean, I guess there is oh, some strategy, maybe. Xbox. Oh no! <laughs> I'm this is the Xbox though, it's a different meta, isn't it? It is a different meta. <laughs> like, they have a different way of playing the game to, and interpreting the rule set to, to us PC players. Yeah, that's a bold trash street cotton. Absolutely. There we go, got the leap. Oh, and he fails to pick up, does he? He doesn't doesn't choose the reroller. How many rerolls? Is he. Uh, yeah, well, he's only got three rerolls left. Cause compared with the five he had at the start of the first half, he's got to think, oh, I need to save some. Gotta save them for overtime. Yes, yeah, the overtime. This is the legitimate thing, actually. Overtime. I mean, Jim well, <laughs> legitimate in the sense that if he was getting to overtime, then he'd yeah. want to. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to count him out. It's really we've seen him. We've seen this guy play before, and he <laughs> adversity doesn't really mean a great deal to him. He rises to the occasion. No, he's, that's why he's got absolutely the opposite to that. Arctic, Antarctic winds. Absolutely the opposite to that. He saved the Apo for the bear. Yeah, well, he, knows, why. he knows the bear's a troll slayer, not a bear. Um, sorry, yeah, it's a troll slayer, not a bear slayer, so the bear's gonna be fine. He doesn't know that's how true. to slay bears. Yeah. This is very true, it wasn't included in his training. Oh, the bear just eating it, just not. Not See. caring about. He just doesn't know the weak points of the bear, whereas he knows all about the trolls. It's a big, um, big problem the dwarves face. <laughs> Going for Kaz here, just a push. Always disappointing that. Uh, well, it looks like he's going to pick up with the bodge rather than seeing as he's not taking the second block. Or is he? What is it? Oh, maybe he's just using, wanting to cage with the. Oh, he fails to pick up. Punished. I'm not quite sure why he didn't put him next to the runner. Because he might as well just punch with the runner. I'm not too sure either. Six or eight, eight yeah, the bear's, the bear's taken a few hits and been pretty fine, but here's AV9, you know, he's resilient. Oh, here we go. Using nice all the movement up. and getting some angles in. This is how you foul. 
Oh, and he smashes his beer mug in. What do we see? Yeah. Absolutely fucking nothing. It's disgusting. Well, I mean... I don't think beer mugs are a particularly classic weapon for killing things. This is true. It's, uh, it's a very like, good point. More likely to break the beer mug than... The bear quite happy to be a rug <laughs> in the middle of the pitch there, not wanting to get up. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are very practiced at fouling without spilling any of that beer. I mean, it's the first thing they do in tra in fouling training, because if you spill the beer, then you've just ruined, ruined your game. What are we seeing here? Oh, and he lands. Is this the there negative 2D? Oh, he fouls the GFI on the loner. Does he make the reroll? I mean... Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, but you, you, you weren't going to get a better chance than that, probably, from now on. So you kind of have to commit to your hole, even though it's a terrible chance. Yeah, he's uh, running out of options now, Mr. Kislev. And that bowl is just going to eat beer mugs. Yeah, we're going to quickly get to the point where there just isn't anyone to even get near to threaten the ball because they're all stunned or on the floor or something. J5 coming in with some good advice there. <laughs> if someone wants to fight you, start tickling them. Uh, yes, this was Volpe's, um, but he uh, increased that to 101 by defeating Darren in the first Ooh. round of the playoffs. Some nice extra SVP. Oh, it's tasty, isn't it? 43 out of 51, he might, they might level in the next game. If he gets lucky. Keeping the troll slayer away from the bear, I like that a lot. Bear has been known to be pretty rowdy. And it's getting to the point where I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, that was genuine, though, you know, all it takes is any dice can kill, right? So, not to. Yeah, but I mean, you can, you can make it so that the bear can only need minus two dice, and then you're you're probably feeling fine. No, he's, he's not interested in fouling the bear here. I guess not. Foul with the ball carrier, but it's plus three. Well, I imagine he's going to pass to the other blitzer. Or the runner, or... Yeah, I guess the, the runner's only got a stunned guy next to him, so he could pass to the runner. Really good point from Arctic there. Uh, yeah, yeah, he could score quickly actually. He could try and go for two touchdowns with the blitz, and then he only needs one pass. I think Jimmy's uh, main concern at this point of the game is making sure he doesn't accidentally concede. <laughs> that would be a sad, <laughs> sad way to lose. <laughs> it happens on the Xbox. It's the control scheme. Um. Yeah. 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 Never go full day though. Well, that's interesting. Because we could see it be punished. Not likely. <laughs> it would have to be a lot of failed pickups or something crazy for it to get punished here, I think. Yeah, just look at the Oh, look at my cas box. Oh, top of the cas box I am. <laughs> that's terrible. Terrible. I can't do Welsh. But you know, essentially, Jim there gloating, in a sense. Here we go, we've got some movement. Well, he's going for the one move that he has available to him. Though he decided not to blitz for some reason. Just base the ball at this point, I think. I don't hate that. The bear getting up. Bear is getting rowdy. Here. Jim must be, uh, his, his ass must be puckered up. He does not want the kids love just, you know, pregnant pause here, just waiting, just you know, letting Jim think about you've got no appro, bud. It's always the ones where you, you they decide take ages to decide to follow or not that always turn into cars, I find. Yeah, it's just like he probably didn't wait enough there. Yeah, yeah, 
Got to leave it until like one second. We get an automatic gas. Yep. All right. Uh. Double base number. Is he going to keep trying to get SPP on this possibility guy? Well, you get guaranteed free SPP from scoring. Um, just got to weigh up the probabilities here, hasn't he? He's got the one reroll left. Might need that for a game-winning play. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to make all the passes he needs to do it, though. Got no. all to say. Say what, you like, say what you like about Jim. I think he has pessimism down. So, Oh, God. Another injury here. This poor kid's left coach. Well... Will we see the Apo? No Apo still, it's the bear. I guess he could keep passing in the hopes that Kislev somehow pull out a score and he can farm more SPP in overtime. Oh, I like, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's, yeah, that's an option, actually. That's a, it's a bit of an out there idea, but I don't hate it. Just runs away from the ball, let the Kislev score and... Uh... Give us, give us all a treat in overtime. We'll nail, we'll nail Biter. <clears throat> uh, the Kislev has the legal concede here. He can uh, just concede and get his MVP and winnings. Doesn't need to play this match out. I mean, he's got the legal concede in the sense that um, Cyanide had programmed it so that he would be able to get the ma uh, MVP and winnings, but. It's not what they intended. Well, it's in I mean, the game, it's in the game. <laughs> like, the proper rules is it's meant to be on a setup rather yeah. than just three on the pitch, but Cyanide obviously can't handle that kind of coding. No, uh, it's difficult. <laughs> what a fucking X, but... <laughs> Jim's certainly uh, the fan favourite here. Um... Uh, well, uh, to win this, Kislev have to bribe Jimmy into conceding. I think is is the best strategy for winning this one. I wonder how much he'd do it for. Maybe 200 quid? Uh, mm, yeah, so you got to think about it. So, 500 euros is about 440 quid. Mm -hmm. Yep. So There's no you're guarantee gonna think... you're going to get there, right? So it has to be yeah. lower than that. Yeah. Um, so, was it? Second is 250, third and fourth is 100? I okay. think. Okay, that sounds about right. And this is, is this round of 32? Uh, so... I don't know, I don't know what this is, I don't know what round this is. Um, I'm assuming it's second round if the Kislev is 1 Stop being shit! Just watch Brian for a loop, because you're man. saying round of 64, however, and I know that Xbox only has 11 players. So I'm just confused. Oh wait, hang on, yeah, no, no, no. So it normally is round of 32 and then round of 16, so this would normally be round of 16. But with 11 yeah. players, maybe this is quarterfinals? I have no idea what they've done with that. I really don't oh. know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think it would just... definitely depend on the other teams in the competition as to whether as to how much you'd accept as a bribe. I think probably something like 200 quid you, you would be reasonable. Yeah, 200 could be reasonable. Because if you that's think... Reasonable. Like the finals, you probably at best got like maybe a 70% chance of winning that, you'd think. Well, here's the thing, and I think a lot of people, this is lost on a lot of people. It is 50 50. Everything is 50 50. You either win <laughs> or you lose. And so when you consider that, if going to have a game, it's 50 50. You, um, 200 quid looks a lot more nice. Looks a lot nicer. Yeah, I mean. Does he foul the bear? Try and, does he try and get the app out? He does. He does. Dirty dick. It's a real <laughs> slow day. I like to run out and then loop them back in instead of going out, pausing, and then running back in. Keeps momentum. Makes the dice one. Obviously, doesn't matter here. Will we see the Apo, ladies and gents? Yep, Apo ring for that. No Apo. For that turn 16 play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no I'm fucking dead. Apo. We have reached overflow. Bear is in the KO box. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't fire the Apo uh, to get more inducements if this was his strategy. Um, did he have a strategy? 
And I mean that, you know, in the nicest way possible. He, this, this guy, this guy is is deserving of respect. He defeated Darren quite soundly in the uh, the last round. So, mm. yeah. I don't know. Oh, if this long beard gets MVP and also scores, then he gets level. That'd be nice. It would be good, wouldn't it? Jimmy's got a score on T16 now, so he's not going to get any uh, any more hits apart from this foul, really, is he? Yeah. Unless there's a riot. Here we go. And he gets him this time. Beautiful. Yeah, that would be nice if you if you didn't use an FA1 game. You've got to get an extra one for the next game, so you could save up your FAs. Glorious. What did you do? Oh, oh the, and the is pitch. Is that clear? pitch clear? Yeah. <laughs> big. You just can't fight these dice, can you? And the send off. Oh. Finally, a send off. Well deserved break. Yeah. Gets to ride it out, safe from the rock. Or actually, wait, what stadium is that? Is that the anti-rock stadium? Um, security gate. So you don't have the pitch invasion and something else. Right, I think. So the yeah, squig, the squig is the squig chaos is the thing. A beautiful score here from Urtrek. Yep. So Troll Slayer is safe from the rock, which is nice. That's good. It's part of his strategy, wasn't it? Only the one <laughs> KO comes back for Kislev. Unfortunately, they can't type to each other Epiphany on the uh, Xbox. Um... Oh, Kislev is still in with a chance with one player left. Yeah. One player left and a, <laughs> and a riot. One man. Yeah, all man's out of us. Scissor. Poor Kislev can't fight this dice, can he? Uh, what would be. Lucking his way away, yeah. Quite yeah. funny as if he. Minus two dice killed someone. <laughs> yeah, it would be funny. I don't. I don't know if Jimmy would be happy. Um, I'd find it amusing. Yeah, I think. How much of his three minutes does he use to decide where to stand? Um. Seven options. Oh, there you go, nice and quick. Jim's not kicking it short. I would no, kick it short there. I would have gave him. A, I would have gave him a touch back, you know, and being a good sport. I'm yeah, I'm surprised the Kislev rushed that decision. I mean, there's a lot to think about there. He can't get onto the ball, can he? I, I really fucked up there because he could only blitz the guys on the ends, right? So I should have put the rookies on the ends and I let him blitz the palm. That was really fucking bad. It was just There's genuinely really bad, wasn't it? Yeah. Not ideal, Jim. He doesn't get anything from it though, does he? Well, I mean... It was bad. I don't know if it was really bad. Because... <laughs> <laughs> they are AP9. He hasn't got any skills, so... <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I don't have the app on. It was... It was... It was just definitely not optimal to do it, was it? Um, right, that was that was a fun game, wasn't it? It was, it was wonderful. Congratulations on the win there, Jim. Yeah. Hard earned. Diced him off the pitch, but you know, don't want to take anything close. away from you. Played well. Close. Yeah. Close, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. The only one armor break for the kids left. <laughs> and it was a miss oh. next game for the rest of the next match. Can you believe it? It was yeah. one armor break into an apple fail. <laughs> a perm as well, a perm Apophil, not even just Miss Next Game, it's an actual perm. Niggled, niggled guy. Yeah, yeah. Disappointing. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it was alright making a million cars. <laughs> Can't complain of that, can you really? There's no. one guy with a skill also leveled up, so he's got one guy with two skills um, and minus strength. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, minus strength. Yeah. <laughs> he's ready to smash up the open ladder, I think, after this. <laughs> Those catches, though. Four, four failed out of seven. Passes only two out of three, and uh, pick up six out of eleven. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure in your position to complain, really, Jim. I'm not really complaining, <laughs> but I probably should have gone. I probably should have gone for three 0 shouldn't I? Really, yeah, I probably just misplayed there. I, I don't know, but uh, no, I'm not really complaining about that. It was just funny that <laughs> the edge four just kept fucking it up. It's just in poor taste. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 32 people in. So this is round of 16, right? You're free to the next final eight? Whatever. Yes, through to the... Yeah, that was 32 first one, and that was round of 16. So yeah, through to the, the final eight. Yeah. Oh, so one more win and you're in the money, I think. Is that right? Yes, that's correct, yeah. And it, oh. it might be versus one of the competent players. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh God. No. I'm not right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got to thank the Kislev guy for taking the uh, one of the competent players out. <laughs> well, arguably. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be nice.
um, yeah, Olivier Delac. Olivier Delac, he plays on the PC, doesn't he? Oh, he's he's a good coach. Yeah, he's very good. Coach. Yeah, and he's got eight. Is that your next? Or the next opponent, or are they not played yet? Um, it, it's it's possibly him, and he's got Edge five, and uh, fourteen three two okay. record. So, you know, that's. Uh, Surprised he found that many games. That's um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's surprising. <laughs> Orange blade with uh, chalks here, uh, who I already smashed in the regular season. Um, he, does not, he does not have any claw. He just has some stand firm men's and only one bull. So it's basically dwarfs versus worst dwarfs. Yes, yes. So yeah. it'll either be dwarfs versus worst dwarfs, <laughs> or it'll be dwarfs versus dark elves. A so. natural match, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a lot of stand firm. That could get annoying. Yeah, it could be. It could be, especially with Jim Powers. <laughs> Mighty Pesh. Right, anyway, I shall wrap up the YouTube video. So thank you very much, Elk Meme and Bleeding Hippie, for the commentary. Very, well. very much Thanks appreciated. For Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>